Hi, this, hi, this is Joe again with another review. So I think in this video, like I promised in my last video, I'm going to be continuing and, or should I say, concluding my reviews of the doors. So, sorry, when I got an open, my windows were open and you hit the outside traffic sometimes. Uh, I want to conclude my reviews of the Jaws movie series with continuing the fourth one, which happens to be 1987's Jaws The Revenge. So I'm Lorraine Gary reprising her role as Ellen Brody, and she's the only original actor to appear in, I think, or one or two, I should say, original actors who play in this, reprise their roles for this film. The other one has Michael Caine, and Michael Caine, I should mention, was filming this movie while doing the Oscars, and he won the Oscar for, I think, for Hannah and her sisters, I think, at the time. And while he was actually filming this guy off a piece of crap when he, when he, when the Oscar was going on, so he didn't show up to accept his Oscar because he was filming George uh, the Revenge. Well, anyway, George the Revenge, of course, starts off, picks up. Well, you know this movie takes place almost um, 12 years, I should say, after the original George film. <coughs> and of course, you find out the Roy Snyder, who was small enough not to appear in Jaws 4, in, in, the, in this film, is small enough not to appear in this thing. So, of course, what do they do? They kill him off. They kill, they kill the character, they kill Chief Brody off, and give him like a second thought, and say, oh, he, he died of a heart attack. But Alan says, no, 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 he didn't die of a heart attack, the sharks ki killed him. And he was so consumed, so consumed with keeping everything out of the scene from sharks, that he developed a heart, a uh, heart condition, and died of a heart attack. So, Ellen Brody is convinced the sharks were out to get her, and to finish the rest of her family off. And it starts very, very early, where her son, her youngest, Brody son, Sean, was now a deputy, and when they joined the police force, he's now a deputy, but under Hendrickson, like I say, he's the only other character original character that showed up in this film uh, because Hemmingson is still the chief of police after taking over for Chief Brody when he was fired in way back in George 2. So he finds out that Sean was you know, eaten by a shark. He's checking something out but along along uh, the beach or something uh, on a boat. Was, Sean was patrolling on, on, the, on the patrol boat and he gets attacked by a shark and Ian dies. So of course now they're all upset. Uh, so, uh, now she, oh Ellen was upset. And now first she lost her husband to the sharks. Now she lost her son, and and she's only convinced, like she, like Chief Brody was, the sharks were all going out to kill, eventually kill off her whole family, because Chief Brody killed off two sharks. You know, I was supposed to kill off the original shark, in in the first uh, George movie. You know, 12 years earlier. So, she is also convinced that the sharks are out to get her and her family, which is a ridiculous and silly plot point. So, so she joins her son, or, or should I say, Ellen, eventually meets Michael Keane's character, and they then decide to go down to the Caribbean, where Ellen's older son, Michael, got who, I mean, the movie is so bad, you don't want to know who, met, who was doing this movie. Um, Stores Stores uh, plays you know, Michael, uh, the older son, is now a researcher. He researches sharks for a living, kind of like what Matt Hooper do, did in the first movie, played by Richard Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus was, again, he did not appear in this movie. Uh, was, or, and, and don't remember, it's been a long time since I saw George's Revenge. So, so you ha I have to try to remember everything in the film. To do to do the prop, proper video here, um, I, th I don't think he was even mentioned. In, M M M M was even mentioned in this movie. At least in George too, you have a, re a reference to him in, in the second film. This one, no mention at all. And so, you, so we meet. So anyway, Ellen meets Michael Caine to go back down south to kind of be in to meet Michael and, to, and to bring him home. And as soon as Ellen finds out he's researching sharks. She doesn't want her other son to be killed. 
The other way she have no, no, no real family. Maybe she will kill her, kill herself, or the shark will come after her, and all that type of thing. And that's pretty much the rest of the movie with them in the Caribbean fighting off another killer shark. But of course, this movie has some one major league four part. This movie, mistake in this movie, and of course, if if you really really want to watch a real funny review of George Four. Please watch the uh, Cisco and Evil review of George 4. George's Revenge on YouTube here. And it's really, really hysterical. And they're, and they're the ones who really brought, brought out this PowerPoint. On this huge, huge mistake. And uh, one particular scene where, where Michael Caine's character is on his own boat. The boat gets destroyed by the sharks. And he's in the water. And Michael Caine's physically in the water. And so on Michael's Brody's uh, boat. They, and along with Lorraine uh, and Gary, they put they pull Michael Caine out of the water, and he is completely dry. How in the hell is that even is that even physically possible? You draw somebody, you, you you lift somebody out of the water, you try and rescue them from the shark, and they're completely dry. And they, his Michael Caine's hair was dry, his clothes were perfectly dry, he's not even sopping wet. I mean, I mean, he's not even sweating. This guy, Michael Caine. With all due respect to Michael Caine, I mean, this is. How in the hell did the editors not notice that mistake? I mean, come on. They had they had to be completely deaf deaf and dumb and blind not to see that Michael King's clothes and his hair was completely dry. I mean, come on. I mean, that's a huge mistake. And of course, we all know what happens at the end of the movie. That they killed the shark in the end. I mean, I'm not giving anything that anybody doesn't know. And this is like... And for for a franchise, the story on such a high note with, with the original movie, gun down like it's, it's kind of like the Superman, the original Superman f films with Christopher Reeve. The more of those movies they made, the worse it was getting. But this is what I feel about the George movies. I mean, it was that god awful bad. It really, it really was. George's Revenge was really, really bad, and it was unfortunately it's a sad end to to this franchise. And and now we have, of course, we have the Sharknado franchise on the Sci-Fi Channel. And if I understand that the movie is going to be airing like a month from now on the Sci-Fi Channel, exactly a month from today during this video, and it's you know, I I think sort of a thing on on the Sci-Fi Channel's website that that was going to be the last, and this Sharknado Six is going to be the last one. But um, at least the Sharknado movies. You can see how bad the short Nader movies are. At least they're ent more entertaining than the last two George movies. The last two George movies are so awful and so terrible. I mean, it's not, not even funny. At, le at least you get a few cheap laughs. See, you got, see who's going to get eaten up next with the sharks. But in the short Nader films, at least it's, you know, it can't be entertainment that value there. At least it's you know, funny to see who gets it next. But in the George movies, it's like so awful. I mean, especially the last the last two films, being such high note. I mean, the original George movies is a classic in every sense of the word. But the rest of the series, it gets constantly getting worse. I mean, it, that's why a lot of people crap on sequels a lot because of movie a movie series like George. Or the Christopher Reeve Superman films, or the or the slasher films like Halloween, Friday the Thirteenth. The movies get so awful, but by the time you get to the fourth, fifth movies, you know, you know, you just don't want to watch this stuff anymore. I know I'm dragging out this video, but that's how bad George George's Revenge is. I mean, it's really terrible. It's really awful, and I ask everybody to maybe avoid. That's me watch maybe the first two films, and that, that's it. It's kind of like the Christopher Reeve Superman films. That's what's the first two, and that's it. That's why I feel about the George movies. That's what's the first two George films, and that and avoid the other two because horrible. So that's my review of George's Revenge, and it concludes my little run of reviewing the the George movies. Please click on the video. Please rate it. Feel free to comment on it. Please subscribe to my channel, and please forward this video on your Facebook pages. You can check out all my vi videos now on my YouTube channel. Roundyc.com, it's all WDY, and then C.com. 
on the homepage of the Miami Viewer, Chris Lee Moore, and please check out all of his videos on his website as well. Thanks for watching, and catch you all next time.